Stephen was born in Blois, France, around 1096, the son of Stephen, Count of Blois, and Adela, daughter of William the Conqueror. He was one of several children and had several siblings, including William and Theobald. Stephen was descended from a long line of French nobility, and his father was a prominent figure in the court of the French king. Stephen was educated in the household of his uncle, Henry I of England. He was trained in the arts of war and chivalry, and he was present at the Battle of Tinchebray in 1106, where he fought on the side of the English king against his own father. Stephen married Matilda of Boulogne in 1125. Matilda was the daughter of Eustace III, Count of Boulogne, and a cousin of King Henry I of England. Stephen and Matilda had four children together, Eustace, Baldwin, Matilda, and William. After the death of Henry I in 1135, Stephen seized the throne of England, despite the fact that Henry had designated his daughter Matilda as his heir. Stephen claimed that Henry had changed his mind on his deathbed and named him as his successor. Stephen was crowned King of England on December 22, 1135, at Westminster Abbey. Matilda, also known as Empress Matilda, challenged Stephen's claim to the throne, sparking a period of civil war known as the Anarchy. Matilda was the daughter of Henry I and had been married to the Holy Roman Emperor, Henry V and later Geoffrey Andrew the Plantagenet. She claimed that she was the rightful heir to the English throne and that Stephen had usurped her position. During the Anarchy, Stephen faced numerous rebellions from his own barons as well as attacks from Matilda's supporters. The war lasted for over a decade and was marked by violence, instability, and political turmoil. Both sides committed atrocities, and the country was plunged into chaos. In 1138, Matilda's half-brother, Robert of Gloucester, captured Stephen at the Battle of Lincoln. Stephen was imprisoned for several months before being exchanged for Robert of Gloucester, who had been captured by Stephen's military men. The exchange was negotiated by Matilda's husband, Geoffrey Plantagenet, and resulted in a temporary truce between the two sides. In 1139, Matilda's forces invaded England, and the civil war intensified. The war dragged on for several more years, with both sides gaining and losing ground. The conflict was marked by a series of battles, sieges, and skirmishes across England and Wales. In 1147, Stephen's son Eustace died, which weakened Stephen's position as his successor. Eustace was Stephen's eldest son and had been groomed to take over from his father. His death was a blow to Stephen's hopes of securing the succession for his family. The Treaty of Wallingford ended the civil war and recognized Stephen as king, but it also designated Matilda's son, Henry, as Stephen's heir. The treaty was seen as a compromise between the two sides, with Stephen agreeing to accept Henry as his successor in exchange for peace and stability. As part of the Treaty of Wallingford, Stephen agreed to adopt Henry as his son and heir. This was a significant concession on Stephen's part, as it meant that his own children would be excluded from the succession. However, it was seen as a necessary move to secure the country's future and prevent further bloodshed. In 1154, Stephen died and was succeeded by Henry, who became King Henry II of England. Henry's reign marked the end of the anarchy and the beginning of a new era of stability and prosperity for England. Henry was a capable ruler who introduced many reforms and modernized the country's legal system, Despite his reputation as a successful king, Stephen's reign was marked by political instability, violence, and economic hardship. The civil war had taken a toll on the country, and many people had lost their lives, homes, and livelihoods. Stephen was known for his chivalrous and generous nature, but he was also criticized for his indecisiveness and lack of political acumen. He struggled to assert his authority over his own barons, many of whom were more powerful than he was. This weakness contributed to the country's instability and made it difficult for him to govern effectively. Despite his weaknesses as a ruler, Stephen was a popular king who was well liked by the common people. He was also known for his piety and devotion to the church. Stephen's reign saw the rise of several prominent figures, including Henry of Anjou, who would later become Henry II of England, and Thomas Becket, who would serve as Henry's Archbishop of Canterbury. Both men played important roles in the country's future and helped to shape its history. The civil war between Stephen and Matilda was one of the most destructive conflicts in English history. It left the country divided and vulnerable, and it took decades for the country to recover from its effects. The war also marked a turning point in English history, as it helped to weaken the power of the monarchy and strengthen the power of the barons. Despite the difficulties of Stephen's reign, his legacy lives on in English history. He was a significant figure who helped to shape the country's future and lay the groundwork for the stable and prosperous nation that would emerge under Henry II. 
His reign may have been marked by chaos and instability, but it also helped to pave the way for a brighter future.